Now, not only is he one of the greatest actors of our time, he has become a powerful voice in the struggle to aid Haiti. Sean Penn is a true humanitarian. Here to present the Hollywood Humanitarian Award to Sean is a gentleman of distinguished service himself, Lieutenant General Ken Keene. He is the military deputy commander of U.S. Southern Command located in Miami, Florida. He is second in command of the Department of Defense organization that is responsible for all U.S. military activities in Latin America and the Caribbean. Some of those activities are conducted, that are conducted include humanitarian disaster relief assistance and counter illicit trafficking. Most recently, General Keene served as Commander Joint Task Force Haiti during Operation Unified Response. As commander of all the U.S. forces in Haiti, he led the largest military operation in response to and support of a natural disaster outside of the United States. Would you please welcome Lieutenant General Ken Keene. <laughs> Well, good evening. I understand we're ahead of schedule, so an open mic and a general at the, uh, at the helm uh, get prepared. Uh, seriously, as a former commander of the U.S. Military Joint Task Force in Haiti, which responded to the devastating earthquake on 12 January, I was able to witness firsthand the contributions that Sean Penn made alongside JPHRO so it is a privilege for me to be here tonight to present this pre prestigious award. Sean's selfless dedication, compassion, commitment, tireless service, and drive, and the leadership of JPHRO touched thousands of Haitians and saved countless of lives. Arriving less than a week after the disaster, Sean and JPHRO were on the ground in Haiti with much needed medical supplies and a team of doctors. Our military found themselves working alongside Sean and his team, who immediately went to work treating patients, delivering medical supplies, and providing equipment and food and tents to orphanages and camps throughout the Port-au-Prince area. This was an unplanned but powerful partnership that I was proud to be part of. Living in a tent, Next to the displaced persons camp of over 50,000 people he managed, I saw many examples of Sean's leadership and dedication in action, including responding in the middle of the night during major rainstorms to protect those in the camp at the risk of flash floods and landslides. The mission of JPHRO was simple, to save lives and bring relief to the Haitian people quickly and effectively. Not only did Sean accomplish his mission, his personal leadership was inspirational for all of us serving in Haiti, and there was no one more dedicated to saving lives than he. I took great strength from working with Sean and am proud of what he accomplished and continues to accomplish because he remains a strong force in the effort to help Haiti rebuild. As we have seen over the last week, Haiti still needs the help of the world. I was inspired by Sean's personal sacrifices and commitment to the people of Haiti, and am gratified that he is receiving this well-deserved recognition. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present, present the Hollywood Humanitarian Award to a truly great humanitarian who leads the way and sets the example for all of us to follow, Mr. Sean Penn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Colleagues, I've been away for a little while, uh, somewhere between six and seven months in Haiti, and then went on location to make a movie. Then. Back to Haiti. I got back from Haiti last night, 
and in watching tonight's recipients and the film clips, um, you, you're doing better work without me around. <laughs> um, I remember <clears throat> a, a night after washing the day's filth off my body with the coli contaminated water and keeping my mouth as closed as I, I could to avoid boisterous bouts of diarrhea where outside my tent I could hear a collection of soldiers from the Gray Falcons a short distance away and I wandered over to the gathering of these young men and women in the United States military who I'd come to know in the preceding weeks to find them in ceremony taking a brief, brief break from their arduous tasks as each soldier came to speak at the, uh, to his brothers and sisters, uh, they would begin their roasting words with, so there I was. And then their fellow soldiers in unison would answer, no shit. <clears throat> so when I come to the, the end of my words tonight, I am going to invite you all into the same response. Shall we rehearse? No, well, but re re remember. So there I was, and okay. Let me begin, though, by telling you one story that is very consistent with the spirit and courage of the Haitian people. Around 4.30 last January 12th, a young policeman got off duty. He went home, hugged his wife and his young kids, he kissed them, and he went upstairs. He got out of his uniform. He took a quick shower. He got into his civvies, and he stepped outside his home in Port-au-Prince to have a prized ration cigarette. If Haitians smoke, they don't smoke often. It's too expensive. He took about two drags, looking out into the street, and the earth shook. He turned around, and the two-story building that included his apartment had crumbled, instantly killing his family. Waving the dust in front of his eyes away, he dove desperately into the rubble, sliding his arms through jagged concrete of the second-story roof, which had collapsed to knee level at ground in a futile attempt to reach his two young children and his wife. And what he was able to grasp was his policeman's uniform that he had taken off beside the shower on the second floor. Just the touch of it at ground level made it clear that his family had perished in a millisecond. He pulled the uniform from the rubble and put it on. He was credited with saving 50 lives that evening. When I was first notified, or rather asked, to accept the Hollywood Humanitarian Award, recognizing uh, the work of my organization, JPHRO, in Haiti. The very first thing that came to my mind were the chuckles, not chuckles, but actually the, the, the raucous howls of laughter of virtually everyone on my staff, both foreign and Haitian, at the notion of me being, an, the notion of me being a humanitarian. 